the planning and the prep work you do for the last two days probably goes out the window after six minutes. You you go down to ten men. Scott, good afternoon. Hiya. Oh. Hope you well. All good. Despite everything. Despite the result. Yeah. Um, can you can you talk us through the, your thoughts on the game, especially the uh, the events of the first few minutes, because that seemed to to colour the outcome. Yeah, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I think firstly we um, we understand the challenge uh, ahead when you when you come to to play a, a world class team in Man City. I think we knew that, and then obviously the planning and the prep work you do for the last two days probably goes out the window after six minutes. You you go down to ten men, and they score a goal. So obviously, in that sense, it um, disrupts a lot of things. And uh, look, listen, I think we all understood that it would be a hard game with with eleven men today. Um, but with 10, it obviously makes it even more difficult. Um, I suppose ultimately I've got nothing, but um, I just said it to my team there. I'm very, very proud. I've been in this job now for probably a, a year and um, it's probably one of the most proudest I've been of them because the challenge ahead today was, was mammoth. And I asked the team to show personality today and be brave. Um, with 11 men, that was always going to be a challenge. With 10 men, it becomes even more of a challenge, but at times I see a team which were committed, which were brave in what they were doing. And when I mean brave, I mean putting themselves in positions and putting themselves on offer to try and show an identity and show what we're about, really. And um, I see that in, in abundance, really, and that's what makes me most pleased, really. It would have been quite easy to come here, surrender possession, what a lot of teams do, um, Boot the ball away as far as you can from your goal and sit on the edge of your box and sit on the sword waiting to get waiting wait, waiting for a slow death really. Um listen, we have a lot of injuries and I think at the top half of the pitch at times we we, we lacked real penetration. But certainly at times, like I said, we showed some a real identity to us and a and a, and a real lovely way of, of of how we're trying to do things. You had a lengthy chat with Pep at the end. Can you kind of reveal what he said to you then, or is there, you spoke to him after the game? Or yeah, no, just thought, yeah, just said pop into his office for a drink there, really. So just um, yeah, congratulated him on on the result, and obviously what a fantastic job he's done here. So um, that was just it, really. There was nothing more to it other than that. So you, you obviously, you know, you've got your way of playing. You want to play out from the back. It's been very successful for you in the championship. As the players got tired, I think two of the mm. goals came from trying to play out of the back. Sometimes the, need, the needs must in that department, or do you mm. do you still insist that they do they do they do that? Oh, I think you're right. I think obviously <clears throat> the last stages of the game, and I thought we mixed it up quite well in that sense. I felt that we managed that, and you're probably right in that. Um, Maybe when a bit of fatigue was coming in, it wasn't a time when you need ultra concentration. Um, but like anything, you know, when teams play out from the back, you always notice the mistakes they make, and you because ultimately nine times out of ten, it's, it leads to a biggest chance. Um, what probably people don't see is when you boot it back up to their back four, and they win the first contact, and then they then get a sequence of thirty, forty passes in, and um, in the end, that leads to goals as well, and it's that catch-22, really. And like I said, I, I think it would have been very easy for us um, today. We see what they did against Aston Villa only two weeks ago. We've seen what they've done to Watford here, I think. It would have been easy for us to come and take an easy option. These players are taking easy option. Um, and not try and do what, what we want them to do, because there's a bigger picture and there's a bigger journey ahead of us. And maybe today Man City is not, not that short-term picture there's a bigger long-term picture and that's having having bravery and having a real um a real personality about us and of course four nil it's a hefty re hefty result but at the same time there's big nuggets here for me as the coach sitting here when you're trying to build um, personality you're trying to build character you're trying to build everything which i want my team to to do it's, it's places like this and times that it's during some adversity times that that you learn from the most really Scott, how are your injuries shaping up? Are they easing or are they likely to force you to yeah. go into the, uh, the market? Yeah, not really. We're we're obviously a little bit light in the, in the front half of the pitch today. Obviously, you can see that. Kamitrovic, Knockout, Kamara and Cabano um, are all struggling in, in that sense. So, Alfie Mawson, we have a few injuries, but 
it is what it is. We'll have to see as a few more days or, or a week left of the window. So we'll see where we are. And hopefully we'll have a couple of feet in the next um, in the next week or so. But we'll have to see.